Bravo fans were given a pretty big shock when news broke that Erica Jane and Tom Girardi, who seemed like one of the strongest couples in Real Housewives history, were calling it quits after an insane 21 years of marriage. It left everyone with one question. How did this happen? On the outside, these two seemed like peas in a pod, made for each other. But now, it seems that things were pretty different behind the scenes. It was actually November 2020 when The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and the high-powered lawyer dropped the bombshell of their separation. We thought that was juicy, but boy were we wrong. The actual tea was a massive embezzlement scandal that was uncovered. What actually happened? Is this couple guilty? In November 2020, our Atlanta native Erica made the tough decision to finally end her marriage with Tom after giving it a lot of thought. The couple, now separated, would often go for months without even catching a glimpse of each other. They were really out of each other's lives. Erica was living her best life, courtesy of all the luxuries Tom had provided her, and her stint on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills gave her even more confidence. To top it all off, her fanbase had grown substantially thanks to the spotlight it brought her way. But the real bombshell was yet to drop, and it did in December 2020. Erica and Tom were facing a lawsuit alleging they'd pocketed compensation money which was supposed to help the families of Lion Air Flight 610 victims. The guys at Edelton PC, a class action law firm, didn't beat around the bush in their court records. They claimed that the divorce between the two was meant to be a ruse to protect Tom and Erica's money. It gets worse. The lawsuit claimed that the duo was on the edge of bankruptcy. They'd found themselves locked in a cycle of increasing debts and, well, decreasing cash. Tom and Erica stayed silent and chose to say nothing about the allegations. According to court documents, Erica asks for spousal support from Tom back in November 2020, citing irreconcilable differences as the reason for their split. She also wanted the court to block Tom for seeking spousal support from her, and as if that wasn't enough, she even demanded that Tom cover her legal bills. Tom wasn't going to sit by and let her do that. He fired back, urging the court to deny Erica's request for spousal support support and instead made her responsible for his legal expenses. Fast forward to September 2020, Tom made a shocking confession. His personal bank account had only a few thousand dollars left, which is a lot for most people, but not for him. It was confirmed now, his once bulging multi-million dollar stock portfolio had been reduced to ashes. He claimed he hadn't seen a paycheck from the company in over two years. But here's where things get even messier. Tom's business partner, Robert Keyes, Robert Finnerty, and Jill O'Callaghan took legal action, alleging that he had embezzled 31.5% of their company's funds into his own pocket. They accused him of taking out business loans without telling them, and they also said that this was the reason for the end of their partnership and the liquidation of his assets. Then the bank also decided to step in. They launched their own lawsuit against Tom and his Girardi Keyes company. They claimed that Tom had been neglecting regular payments for office rent, tax fees, and other expenses, which left them an outstanding debt of $880,000. Wells Fargo wasn't stopping there. They demanded 10% of interest from the day of default and turned their attention to seizing Girardi Key's properties in both Los Angeles and San Bernardino, California. Seems like everyone is after Girardi. The accusations that the divorcing couple had illegally held onto $2 million in concealed cash after the 2018 Lion Air Flight 610 accident led a judge in Chicago to confiscate Tom's assets in December. Tom wasn't there at the contempt hearing. In 2020, Tom was getting treatment for a severe yet unknown illness in a covert hospital. During a court appearance in December, a lawyer from his firm made sure to bring this up and let the judge know that Tom had not been available for work for weeks due to a big illness that needed hospitalization and treatment. As per the documents, Tom covered up everything related to the fraud case in July 2020 because he was forced to miss work while in the hospital. He also said that his condition was the reason some of the families didn't get the compensation that was due. The Los Angeles Times reported that the team was concerned about Tom's mental health and that one of his attorneys actually felt that he needed a psychiatric evaluation. 
In January 2021, his brother Robert Girardi asked to become Tom's conservator, claiming that Tom had short-term memory loss and couldn't be trusted to make good financial judgments. It feels like a cop-out. After that, the attention was diverted to a totally new scandal when sources revealed that Erica thought Tom had been cheating on her throughout their marriage. Erica never imagined that Tom would be capable of carrying out the alleged crimes against him. A source claims that Erica was fully ignorant of the extremely severe accusations Tom was facing. They operated in the same manner as Tom had always handled the funds, and Erica had total trust in him. Therefore, she felt betrayed. Erica got the shock of her life when she heard about the alleged adultery and legal mess. Some other person out there claimed that folks were dribbling out the legal drama one piece at a time. And wouldn't you know it, she says she was completely in the dark about all of this until it hit the headlines. It's like she was just minding her business while everything was going down and didn't even see it. But that's unlikely. Girardi, however, has a different story. He was telling everyone that Erica knew everything, even suggesting that they had a chat over lunch with a friend. Then, as usual, the paparazzi went up to Tom, asking that million-dollar question. Did Erica have a clue? The discredited attorney didn't spill the beans right away. He paused before dropping the bomb, saying, I think she does. Can you set the record straight for us? Did Erica know anything? Everybody wants to know. I think she does. Let's, let's go. Thank you, Tom. That is a pretty big accusation, but honestly, does anyone really believe what Erica is saying here? You can tell there's something fishy going on, because even their own attorney, Jay Edelson, hinted that Erica was probably in on it and is just trying to keep her hands clean of the whole thing. Edelson's comments on the Reality Life podcast implied that not only was Erica did have a big role to play, not only with her law firm, but also in substantial financial transactions involving her company in June 2021. Erica, however, maintained her strong stance. She took to Instagram, accusing Justice Trisha Bigelow of having affairs with Tom and alleging that he was covering her expenses, including cosmetic surgery and a saxophone bill. Supporting her claims, Erica included text messages in a statement to the LA Times. The judge's attorney, however, deemed Erica's actions aimed at harassing the justice to be illegal. The rumors were growing around as Erica reportedly moved Tom from their $15 million estate to a $2,408,937 three-bedroom home in Los Angeles, with a monthly rent of $9,500. Interestingly enough, Erica's bankruptcy lawyer tried to keep himself as far away as he could from her legal troubles. He resigned just a day after the release of the Housewife and the Hustler documentary. Erica could potentially be held accountable for repaying settlement money meant for Tom's former clients, as legal action was initiated by Joe Gomez, Jamie Gomez, and Kathy Ray Gomez, seeking to recover $11 million owed by Tom. Furthermore, their La Quinta home sold for $1.25 million, with various expenses offsetting their proceeds from the sale. August 2021 saw Erica facing a $25 million lawsuit from the trustee overseeing Girardi Kisa's bankruptcy case. The trustee accused her of being aware of the company's long-term funding of her expenses. However, these allegations were dismissed in January 2022. Nevertheless, Erica's legal woes raged on. In February 2022, she was accused of having knowledge of Tom's alleged fraudulent activities, including misleading clients and aiding in breaches of fiduciary duty and financial elder abuse. In February 2023, she faced five counts of wire fraud. Tom and his co-worker Christopher Carswell were charged with embezzling over $15 million from Girardi Key's clients, potentially leading to a 20-year prison sentence for Tom if convicted. Despite entering a not-guilty plea, Tom underwent a mental competence assessment with a related document sealed by the judge. He was released on a $250,000 bail under strict conditions. Amid these legal and financial challenges, Erica cited her official separation from Tom as the reason for the divorce proceedings impasse, emphasizing that her life had taken a separate path. Do you think Erica is innocent, or did she also play a part in the embezzlement? Let us know in the comments! If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for all the Hollywood tea and drama. If there is juice to be had, you can count on Miss Juice to bring it to you.